the kids are getting ready to go back to school and if they're feeling a little anxiety or even a lot of a anxiety, lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, there are some things they can do to ease those feelings. The people expert, Dr. Sabrina Jackson, is here to help. First of all, good morning to you. Good morning. Looking bright and shiny on a Monday. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. you. The anxiety, when you add these things into the mix, kids deal with so much anxiety and so many words going back and forth before school, during summer, and it's just, it is a huge problem for kids as they head back to school. What can you do to the system? The first thing is to have open communication about feelings, about mm. how are you feeling? Are you anxious? Are you having trouble sleeping? Pay attention to what they're eating, if they're not eating. Yeah. All of those behaviors are so important as a parent to give it to them, but then for the kid themselves, I have a question. Okay. I raised my hand like we're in class. Since they're going to class today. Since they're going question. to class. Dr. Sabrina, I have a question, okay? Okay. Um, what do you do when you ask your, your, your child, are you okay? How do you feel? And they go, fine. Those one-worders. I know. I love that because then you could say, well, give, g explain it to me. Right. Not just fine. What does fine feel like? Ah, I like that. What does fine feel what like? What does fine feel like? Right, yeah. What do, tell me what, you, what you're really feeling. Tell me what you're thinking because thinking and feeling can be the same thing, but just changing the word can open up the conversation. It's okay to ask about their friends. Like, oh, if absolutely. such and such is going to class, what's she, what's she wearing? How's it? Does that open up the conversation? It can open up the conversation. You want to be, you, I always say, you got to have a lot of questions. Yes. A lot of questions opens up conversation. If you ask a question and they give you a answer then you can squash it mm -hmm. no if mm -hmm. you really want to get in you dive in you have good questions even in yeah. all our relationships you, yeah. you have good questions so true so yeah. true uh, and what what, what what know uh, when to seek professional oh, professional help it is how so do you important. know that the thing that the, the length of time that you see the issue. Mm -hmm. So if you say that there's been sleeping disorders, there's been eating changes, you find that they're quiet and to themselves and it's going on for more than a month, then yeah, you might want to seek some professional help. Yeah, and, and, and more than a month. That's interesting because sometimes people don't know when to ask for help. Oh, they don't ever ask for help. Ever ask for help. Yeah, that's that was the your whole first, thing. That was your first bullet point. Second one is teach students the 333 mindfulness technique? Yes. That sounds three, cool. It's a 333, and it's for kids themselves to do. Uh -huh. So first, identify three things you see. Mm -hmm. So right now, I see that white chair, I see that monitor, and I see Mary. I, I see Mary. So uh -huh. those three things. And then three things that you hear. Oh. What are you hearing? I heard 333. I heard 333. <laughs> I hear him laughing. But And then the last are three things that you can do and move your body. So I can move my toes. Don't nobody see that. I can move my toes. <laughs> I can move my fingers. I might move my elbows. But it's things that I can do that helps ground me in the moment. You know, I love that because it brings you right into the present moment. Present moment. And it gives you something you, to do with the kid. That, and it gets you out your head. Yeah. It gets you gets out, that, out of their that head. That negative yeah. thinking that don't nobody like me, don't nobody, you know, all of that. Get me in the moment. Wow, that's so good. Three, three, three. 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 Three, three, Mm -hmm. What was a low for today? Uh, just give them guided questions, questions so they can answer. So they can answer them, and then once it opens up, they may, it may they may go. They, yeah. They're gone from there. I know for me, I like guided. Love journalists. Uh, I do too. Finally, let's talk about older kids because older that's kids. when things get serious. Yes, that's when yes, things yes. Can get very serious. Things get very serious. So there is an assessment that you can download from my website mm -hmm. for kids themselves to take. So when you're on your way to middle school or high school, how are you feeling? You mm -hmm. want to be able to ask the question to yourself so when you know yourself, yeah. then you can ask for the help that you may need. Absolutely, because sometimes uh, older kids can do so many different things. Thank you so much for sharing all that. Where can people Absolutely. find you? They can find me. Oh, there you go. There's my back to school no, you picture. Didn't. That's you? That's me and my mommy. <laughs> my mommy's gone on to happen now, but that's me and my mama. That was my first week at. Cast Tech High School. Uh -oh. I was 14 years old. Cast oh my God. Technician. There it is. <laughs> yes. Good job. Thank you. Good job. SabrinaJackson.com.
SabrinaJackson.com is where you find all the information you need. Marielle, over to you. Oh, I love it. Ah, yes, indeed. We're just talking about kids going back to school, and that's the way I feel, Dr. Sabrina, as well. I just get so nervous because she's driving and everything. She's but driving. How do the parents deal with the experience Ooh. of getting the kids ready to go back to school? And, and let's not talk about perhaps having uh, separate homes, two different, two different places, two different parents. A lot of stress is because you want to make sure they have the same thing over here that they have over there. You don't want them to be late. You want them to be well ready to go. I'll stop talking now. Well, no, you can start no, because you, you, I get you, nervous about the whole thing. You said something very key about blended families or yes. families in two different households. And so um, you have to make sure that your co-parenting mm -hmm. is a thing and that you have the discussions about at the basis, what do we want to fundamentally have for our children? Right. And so if we agree even if we don't agree about us, right. we can agree about the children and the children be the focus. So if you do that, that is a very powerful thing. How do you get, and some people don't have that civility. So how do you get, how do you get your kid ready anyway, make sure she is okay? Because that's really what you want, or he is okay. Well, one is talking about what their expectations are, what they the know, kid. the kid, because the kid knows the parent that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. They know what to say and not to say to mm -hmm. that parent. They know mm -hmm. what to do at this place and what to do at that place. And to really be the parent that's going to talk to them and give them the tools they need mm. in the areas that they are. That's a, a critical place to yeah. be, critical place to be. But also setting routines. Setting That's routines. That's so important. No matter what the age. And let me say this because when I say set routines, some people don't like routines. Mm -hmm. Some people are just the, how they're wired. They don't like routines. Okay. And that's okay. However, the routine doesn't have to be so structured and strenuous that it seems painful. Right. It can be light. You can have a part of your routine that is meditation in the morning. It mm. can be a prayer that you do in the morning. Or it can be putting on that hype music. Right. All I do is win. No matter no what. No matter what. There it is. And so that elevates the energy, mm -hmm. and that could be a part of your routine that sets that foundation that we're going to have a good day. And it, you can have the routine, and it helps the, the parent. Yes. You don't have to tell the kid it's a routine, though. Nope. See, it's just what the, we do. It's just what we do in this, the morning. This is what we do we in do our this, house. We do this, we do boom, we do bing, we, This is what we do. This is what we, we do. We get ready to go. And you're a part of it, so it doesn't feel like you're telling them this is what we do. Right. This is what we do. How do you get the parents, and I'm just talking about parent stuff because that's what this segment is yeah. about. Yes. When the other kid has and your kid does not. Ooh. Or when the other kid has and your kid wants, but you don't want them to have. Whew. Well, this is the biggest thing is that you control your house mm -hmm. and what's outside of our house is just that outside of our house. But she has an iPad. She that's, takes notes in yep, class and I got to have an iPad to take notes no, in class. No, no, you don't because guess what you have? A pen and a pencil <laughs> and a pad of paper. That th it's, I'm going to say this because yeah. the whole technology and digital mm -hmm. footprint that we're in, a lot of parents are having difficulty because you start real early giving them mm -hmm. all these technology things and then when they get older and you try to take it away, they go ballistic. They do. They go ballistic. How, and so how am I supposed to, to live? You have to manage it. You have to yeah. have a time that that's when it's okay. But then let's still do some things that you have to write. Right. Let's still do a workbook page. Let's do that together. And don't be the parent that's just telling them that that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Show them because that's a part of what you do. Yeah. When I journal, I write. Yeah. You can see me writing. writing in the journal. I still take notes on regular Paper. Yeah, yeah. I still do. Yeah. And then make sure that you have a village mm -hmm. because sometimes as a parent, you need other adults that you can vent to, that you can talk to. Yes. They can pick them up you if know. you can't make it. Yes. It's self-care. <laughs> self-care yes. is a requirement, not yeah. a recommendation. There do things is. where you check in with yourself and make sure you're mm -hmm. on the top of your yeah. priority list. Dr. Supreme, we appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, DrSabrina.com. And on Instagram, the people expert underscore. Appreciate you every time. We'll be right back.